we are going to put one of the lights on an FPV drone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, the drone went down straight away. We're going to check it out now. Boys, welcome to the channel once again with Giovanni and Joe. <laughs> Give me some money. What up, homies? You're right, dude. We're cruising. We're going to Wormwood Scraps, the only park where you can fly drones in London, pretty much. We're gonna do some different reviews today about two lights by Jewin. It's gonna be a lot of fun because it's actually quite challenging, and uh, we're gonna go through the challenges as we get to the park. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are officially. This is the intro of the video. We are going to take some long exposure photography in a very boring place, to be honest. It's just a dark park. So with a bit of creativity and two lights, we're going to show you what you can achieve. And we start rolling now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I wasn't even born rolling, when that came rolling, out. Rolling. I'm packing. I went on this shoot, it was in a field, in a golf field. I was like, I don't carry all my shit on my, sh on my shoulder. Man. These are the kind of things we're talking about. See, professionals. That's why, guys, you pay 700 quid a day for a guy like him. Uh, actually, a thousand or, or whatever. I got a big wheelie once, you see, as well, to go off through, yeah. If we get a long exposure with that in the background, though, yeah, that would be dope. So I didn't mention we are going to put one of the lights, the bigger lights, the F100, on an FPV drone. And Joe is going to fly, so that's going to be the challenge of the, uh, of the vlog today. Oh my God, look at that light. It's powerful as f***. Okay. All right, guys, that's how powerful, first of all, the F40 is. Check it out. We are 10 meters away, and this is like a football pitch. I just <laughs> so I look how bright. <laughs> look how bright that is. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's madness. Look at this. Wow. Okay, yeah, I did it again. Check that thing out. And then we can change the balance. We go for daylight right here. Yes. Oh, we're going to talk about all this stuff. And we can see Giovanni over there, who is probably 50 meters away from us. How and does that feel in your face? It's literally blinding you. That's a 40 watts. The F100 uh, is 100 uh, watts. <laughs> so that's going to be fun on the drone. So we're starting to set up and actually uh, to create a portable studio, we got an another FR, which is a 5-ray 100C, the previous version of the uh, F100. So we're going to place it on a stand and create our environment right here. Check it out. Oh, I'm going to show you also the super power mode here. So RGB light, but this is the max power. Hey! <laughs> Look at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Quick talk here about the F100. It comes with barn doors, but also we have a grid, honeycomb grid, so you can direct the light a bit better and it comes with a soft box and we're gonna place it on this uh, uh, light right here just to soften up the brightness but I think we're not gonna use it uh, right now because what? we actually need we actually need light <laughs> <laughs> so there you go see the difference even flare wise it doesn't go through the lens RGB light also CCT so by color but RGB with some effects and that's gonna be very useful for the long exposure photography on the drone first shot so we made up the first shot it's gonna be a takeoff with the drone light on the drone we're gonna set the effects on the light itself which is like a rainbow color and we're just gonna make the drone take off in a spiral so you're gonna see different colors chasing each other going up we're gonna try right yes so let's go I'm gonna set up the light and Joy's gonna set up the drone we're gonna set up the effects here just turning on we might have 10 different effects here which are selectable by the wheel so right press on the wheel we are in the effects mode ah. oh la la that How about is that? disco that's a rainbow moving launching yeah It's on guys, it's on. Can you see anything? Oh, check this out. Giovanni, can you see? Yeah. Wow, look at the city in the background, guys. That's fun. I can see the aliens coming down. Okay, so we're thinking about a 50 millimeters focal length. Uh, so it's not too wide. We've got some nice city lights 
working in the background. And uh, maybe we turn all these lights off and just keep the one from the drone on. I think that's more or less the shot. We try with uh, five, four or five seconds in terms of uh, shutter speed. And then I've got F5, aperture, ISO as low as I can get so we don't get much noise in the image. Nice all right, we're gonna start. See how the first shot goes. Giovanni, you ready? Yeah. So we got three, two, one, click now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sh Unfortunately, drone went down straight away. We're gonna check it out now. All right. Is it all good? I think so. So the main issue is I couldn't see where I was going. I was all black. Is it better if I fly? Maybe. You're funny. Yeah, sure. There's no legs around. <laughs> There's no legs around. Guys, go check this video up here. That's the funniest thing you'll, you'll see today. <laughs> okay, we try again. So this time I'm gonna just do without goggles because yeah. I can see it. I guess we failed the shot number one because the drone went down because Giovanni can't actually see the drone. So. Instead of uh, taking off with a spiral, we're trying to fly just above the ground so you can actually spot the drone and put the camera in landscape mode, see how that goes. If we keep this uh, FR in the middle of the shot and Giovanni's gonna fly around it so he can actually see the drone fly. Go! Is there anything happening here? Nice, Joe. Go be higher. Okay, cool. And done. The photo is done. Okay, and shot number two. Yeah, do a spiral. Try to go be higher. Design something. So what we're trying now, I'm going to be the subject in the middle of the frame and Joe is flying in the background behind me, creating a silhouette with uh, rainbow colors. Who's, uh, who's filming? The cinematography is incredible. Yeah, uh, Joe, Joe Mandorla, go follow him on Instagram. He, he does a, the job. He's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, and, cheap uh, enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's this guy here. We, I'm going to show you a, a clip. Okay, I'm going to shutter in three, two, one, and now we have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shutter. rolling on the FR40 it's not as diffused as uh, yeah for example uh, the F100 but again I'm pretty sure you can get some diffusion soft boxes there you go I'm just late by the FR40 Joe is two meters away from me shot number two we got this huge lamp post we're gonna change the effects on the light it basically changes the hue of the light and it actually increases the power as well and Joe is trying to go around the pole. The camera is set around 50 meters from here, 70 millimeters on. Uh, it's a 30 seconds shutter, so very, very slow to give time to Giovanni to go all the way up. And uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna put the settings of the camera down here because I don't remember right now. 3%, how powerful is that? Is it bright enough for you, Joe? Three, two, one now ready to fly going teal check that out boom and pink yeah and you can also go down again if you want cool that's what you get and the photo is taken let's have a look this is the photo we've taken guys check it out right here Woo! look at the landing lovely jubbly my friend <laughs> totally jubbly high five Okay, well, I'm trying the RGB of the light because we are going to abandon the drone ideas for now and we're just drawing something with the lights. Like the sound effects, not really. It needs to be like, there needs to be more energy in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Spielberg. <laughs> All right, so we found these tiny woods 
uh, we are gonna have a 12 millimeters on so zero distortion lens on the a7r3 we have a backlight over there lighting up the trees in yellow and then giovanni has a green uh, shade of color i've got a red yeah Same. we're gonna use the lights as light lightsabers and uh, we're gonna have a tiny fight in the middle here in the center of the frame it's a 20 seconds shot we might reduce it though yeah it was a bit too long so we're gonna have a 15 let's start with the 15 15 yeah let's do it 15 long exposure shot we got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and it's going now well, that's cool let's see what's happening There's more skying in it. You can see there. Yeah, it looks much better. Yeah, the, the yellow light in the background, it's definitely a better shot. And we play with the lights a bit more, so the drawing is actually uh, improved. Yeah. We're simply using the uh, RGB mode of the lights. Uh, you can just change the hue, the saturation, and the intensity of it as well. Really, really happy with these things, actually, so far. What do you think, Joe? You, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I, I have another idea, so let's try something different. I think we can do like a, a still, this time still, and then we're gonna change the background with the lights moving, doing long exposure, like some light, light painting. We like, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we got something coming up. Okay, something guys, that's a neat uh, contrast between the orange and the blue. And All right, people, in, am I blocking your light? I think we wrap up here at the vlog from London. Mm. Thanks for these two guys. What do you think about the lights? Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed actually. I'm really impressed. Good fun. Hope the photos were, you know, came out nice <laughs> and that you enjoy the video. So subscribe, check the lights in the description tab. We'll catch you in the next one. Maybe a bit of traveling stuff, guys. We ah, need to yeah. plan yeah, more, more Philippines, stuff. Yeah. Bang! He said it. Somewhere warm, you know? We love it. Yeah, yeah. check Wherever it out. Goes, I go. Caribbean. We'll catch you soon. Ciao.